Are how are banks assessing credit? How are they? What, what metrics are they applying to, uh, you know, to make decisions given that there's a gap, a gap in the financials? I mean, I, I really don't think the credit process has changed from pre-COVID. I, I, I think they're, they're very focused on the financials, um, the the EBIT and EBITDA, you know, so the cash flow generation capacity of businesses. And frankly, our experience is the banks um, uh, are looking at performance through COVID, and and and, and it becomes quite circular as we've been talking because companies have been weakened through COVID, whether it be supply chain or whether it be just at the sale, at the revenue line. Um, but, but the banks, they're looking at the cash flow generation and they're, they're, they've been quite, um, I would say it's the, the flow of capital uh, at, at that banking level has been, been quite difficult. The, we're, we're talking companies that pay, pay five or less on the uh, on the BMG diagnostic. They, you know, they're not... Um, they're not uh, performing w well, but there, there are good reasons why, and um, particularly around COVID. So, um, so, having said that, there's a lot of liquidity in the non-bank space. So we're, we're working on transactions at the moment uh, on a real estate trade where you know it's development capital and it's it's um, single-digit uh, funding, first mortgage funding uh, on development risk, construction, development and construction. Risk. Um, so, I, I, to that point, I think there's, you know, there's good liquidity in the non-bank market, and the, the bank market is um, business as usual. 